Hey guys, Bruno here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. I know it's been a fairly long time since I've um, put any effort into Farm Sim, but finally back in Slovak Village. Here's a poster of Farmer Klein from YouTube, someone who I do follow and support. Pretty good YouTuber. Actually, probably a bloody good YouTuber. Um, probably hasn't got as much support as I would have thought he would have, but... Um, right, this is our home in the little village of Slovak. As you can see, people walking up and down the streets and I've turned traffic off though, which is what I usually do. Um, this is just, I guess, the standard sort of house for FS19. Um, got some liquid soap and some pickles and stuff over here and a laptop over here. So we take care of our, our banking side of things, all of our money. So you can see at the moment, we've got one and a half million dollars um, we still have everything as per normal from a new farmer mode. Um, I did just start off new farmer mode. I've taken out a loan of 1.4 million. What I want to do is head on over to the quarry over here um, and look at this. And this is possibly where we're going to start, I think. I'd like to start getting straight into mining and stuff. Um, whoop, wrong button. Ooh, so that took a while change the camera. Um, some of you may know, or hopefully all of you will know that um, I do actually work in a a coal mine in real life. I know this is a little bit different um, as far as coal mining and that sort of stuff, but I do work in a coal mine and I figured we'll get stuck straight into the mining side of things. It's a little bit easier than um, other maps that I've seen with mining as well but I don't know hopefully you guys will like the idea of starting with mining and then we can look at doing other stuff later on whether it be meat production whether it be um, some forestry side of things you know you guys need to let me know what you guys want to see from this series as per usual I'll probably you know load well sorry record a few episodes in advance that you guys probably won't get to see straight away, but you guys can still have some input and we can work on those things as you guys comment away and as I start to record new episodes and that sort of, that sort of thing. So here we are at the quarry. Is it the quarry? Yes, it's the quarry. So it looks like the sawmill over there. Um, so what do we have? I think we should just jump on out and have a bit of a run around. So here... It's a bit of a spot here to dump off something. Over here it's got some stuff that we need to put in. Obviously a process all gets done through here. There should be a board, here we go. So we need to put gravel, water, cement, and empty pallets, which produces some bricks. Awesome. Can we actually... Oh, we can't actually turn this stuff off. Um, Alright, what do we have here? This is where... I guess that's where the water goes. Get rid of F1 there. Here would be where the gravel goes, I suppose. Then you would have um, cement, pallets, and we make bricks. Then we can sell bricks. So I wonder if it's easy to read. It should be easy to read. Ah, bricks. A thousand dollars. That's pretty good. What do we have here? That's lumber. That would be rock and I guess that's gravel or stone and gravel gold of course gold's where the money's at Ooh, there's some different vegetables aren't they it's like cabbage uh, capsicum tomato is that oh, that's an apple pear uh, peach maybe not quite sure what that is uh, meat products which are pretty good we've got some soy milk some milk Liquid manure, normal manure. So there's plenty of things that we can actually do in this game, which is going to be pretty awesome, I should say, on this map. So big storage facility here, which we're going to need. Um, over here, I think, is obviously where we put some stone in the top, which will throw gravel and stuff at the bottom, I guess. Yeah, let's run up here and we'll have a bit of a look. Wow, this map is it's really, really good, actually. Yep, so I'd say that's stone straight into there. 
but it needs fuel of course. So over here we have fuel, uh, soil, water, produces some gold and stone. And this is our dynamite area over here. So dynamite in, stone heap, stone heap and soil. Awesome. So I don't know where the stones will actually come out. I um, wonder if they just sort of pile up on the ground over here and the soil and that sort of stuff. So we'll have to look at that. First of all, let's go and purchase this. Yes, I'm going to sell these other fields. Uh, not that one, this one. Um, the reason why I did go new farmer mode, which I will show you guys. Oop, garage is because of these cattle pastures. Cattle, pig, sheep and chickens. They're all unique to the map, so I didn't want to start fresh and not have these as part of the game so that's why I went with new farmer mode um, all right, let's cycle through some of our gear see what we have so we have a fent tractor here um, we're gonna need of course front loader something that we can transport fuel something we can transport water so let's have a look at this we'll go miscellaneous so it's transports fuel um, manure maker, fertilizer maker, grain mill. Ooh, these things are pretty cool. Alright, um, so we've only got that there for fuel. What about animals? We should have the water tank. Both of those are water. There's no point in buying this one, I don't think. I think we're probably better off buying the smaller one, just using it. Sort of moving around, buy tractor or truck I think would be the way to go to start with. I don't have any real mods um, in at the moment. I guess any mods I would have which I can show you guys, actually if we go this way is the John Deere the John Deere tractor stuff you know because I do enjoy these John Deere mods so they're the only real mods that we have so alright forestry equipment is there anything in here? Nothing major. Alright let's go with the Aquatrans, let's buy you. And we also need to go back into miscellaneous and get a fuel trailer. So I'm not quite sure what colour. Yeah, that'll do. Sort of oh, lizard knock in. Let's go the knock in tyres. This stuff sort of matches our truck. Right, so that has the front loader attachment on it. Um the Fent doesn't, or the Fent 515C doesn't. We've got the Fiat, got the New Holland, the Lizard pickup. So, this guy I think we'll keep. So now we need to find our tools. Front loader attachment is here. Right, we'll attach that. I want to grab our bucket. Our bucket's not very big, as you can see. All right, what I want to do as well is grab the front weight. Because we probably will need that. And we can put that on the back. Alright, so this guy, we're going to need to go to the store. So where is the store? Bottom left of the map. Okay. Alright, this is going to be a decent trip, I think. I need to work out how we get out of our farm. would say down here somewhere. Alright, um, to the right of here, then it should go around to the left. Yep, then we should have a gate down the bottom. Awesome. And I guess we'll head... Oh, there's our gate. We'll have to get out and open that ourselves. Jump back in. I guess we'll head, head to the right. Um, we we'll try and keep an eye on our map and work out where we're going to go. So we need to go down to the, we'll see southwest of the map. So I guess we'll come through here, we can turn to the left. So we, we won't stop, we don't need to stop, there's no one around. There's no other traffic. Maybe, let's um, just 
because we can. Let's let's turn traffic back on. I think it'll be cool to have it. All right, off we go. Check for these guys, and then we'll turn right here. Try not to hit any of these parked cars on the side of the road. Then I think we'll turn left. Yeah, we'll turn left just up here. But we can get through before he crosses over. He's probably going to start swearing at us, but. Alright, whoop, there's a car coming that way. Nothing that way. Good. Oh, up over a big hill here. No pedestrians. Still raining. Uh, what I need to do is put it at Tom's five speed. We need to get through the first hour before anything starts working anyway, so. I'll head down to the shop. So the shop should be down here into town and then around to the right hand side. So it's not too far from there back to the quarry, but still. You know, it's gonna be um It's going to be a fair hike, I think. Oh, so a shop should be over there to the right hand side somewhere. Alright, so it should be... Yep, we'll turn right here. Instead of blowing past the intersection. That guy I've got across he is... Sorry mate, don't have time to wait. So down here we have soy milk production, milk production, we've got the meat production down here. Um, a few silos for the train as well. Oop, I have to slow down for this young lady. I'm trying not to run her over. Um, cell point in there somewhere. And here is the shop. Agro Tech, let's jump out and uh, we open the gate. Whoops. So I didn't mean to do that. Uh, yep, never mind. Okay. We have to wait for a certain time to be able to get in here, or is there another way in? We should be able to go in through the front door. Um, we could probably sneak around the back. Maybe. I don't know. I know certain things are only open at certain times during the day, so let's speed it up and get through the first hour. That might be part of the reason why the gate's... gate's not open. Guess, yeah, we're not gonna get banging through things. There we go. So it might only be open at certain times. I did read that as part of the um, like developer's log and that sort of thing. Um, so what I want to do as well is get these guys out. We'll get this guy out. Water tank. Going to need to buy some dynamite too. So there should be a forklift here somewhere that we can use. So let's shut this down for a second. Let's, um, we're going to need to buy another trailer so we can put some stuff onto. So this guy is usually one that we use. Trailerborg, Michelin, go Trailerborg. Buy this, say maybe six pallets of dynamite. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, and then maybe six. Um, okay, some of them are inside, so what I want to do is disconnect our water trailer. Gonna need to come into here and grab our normal trailer. So that's the only forklift I can see, so I wonder if that's the one that we can actually use. Ah, oh, there it is. Alright, so let's bring this guy out somewhere into the parking lot. Should make it a little bit easier for us. Right, shut him down. We're going. Grab the dynamite. Which is going to mean we need some way to unload it at the other end as well. Um, okay, so let's. 
head towards towards these guys. Alright, throw these on. Hopefully we won't blow anything up while we're doing it. Probably better off using the outside view because I'm not very good at loading things. This guy down. There we go. Let's go back for the next one. Uh, lift the forks before we put a hole in there. Beautifully tiled floor. Alright, let's try and Line it up reasonably well. Lower our forks down, or the tines. So, one of the comments that is on this map on Farming Simulator 19 mods.com is the Mana 2 is here for everybody to use, so don't steal it. So, I don't plan on taking it. But, you know, in your game, if you want to take it, then that's completely up to you, but I don't think the the people in the friendly village of Slovak would be very impressed if you did. Oh, we should be able to get all three on here. Not very nicely stacked up, but they'll all be on there. Alright, so another... Grab another one. But just checking, did we actually? We did buy. I oh, said so we did buy that, but we had um, we sold that other land, didn't we? So I'm going to get rid of our loan a little bit before I forget. Just leave maybe 100, 150 thousand in the bank. I don't want to leave it short, but you know we're able to loan quite a bit of money, which is really good to see. Obviously, me going to the bank and letting them know that we're going to start playing with dynamite and um, get some gold. They decided to line us a little bit extra than normal, knowing how profitable gold can be. Okay, so let's drop this one down. Boom, there we go. Alright, now we've got three more to do. So I don't know I'm not very good at forklifting things. It's so much easier in real life, I swear. I've driven forklifts a fair bit in my younger days, and first-person view in real life is a lot better than first-person view here. Alright, so get this guy. That's terrible. We're going to have to move over a little bit more. There we go. I just want it to just sit on. Right, boom, there we go. Let's strap these down while we can. Certainly don't want them falling off at all on the trip. So I'm going to have to... So what I might do is I might wait. I might bring the pickup truck down grab the fuel. That way I can throw that bucket from the front loader in the back of that truck and the truck can take the fuel and the bucket up to the mine itself, up to the quarry. Otherwise it's going to be, you know, a whole nother trip with a tractor which isn't going to be very nice. Get these thrown on. So for this side of things, I don't think we actually need water or ooh, water or fuel straight away. So I'll see if I can 
push that box. Oop. No, never mind. I was going to try and push that box forward again, but that doesn't matter too much. Alright, let's drop this guy down. Alright, there we go. I'm going to strap all these guys down. Put this guy back where we found it. Turn the, we'll turn the lights off so I don't end up with a flat battery. Alright, there we go. Let's jump out. Let's grab our truck. Alright, we're going to have to work out what's going to be the best way to head back down. Have a look at the map quickly. Um, probably come down here and out under the railway line and that way. I guess, uh, maybe. Well, let's just head straight back into town. Might be the easiest way. I'm gonna bump um, our speed up to 80 while we're on these roads. See so when we get back into town, slow it down a little bit. All right. So hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy this series. I know it's been a fair while since I played Farming Simulator, but um. I just thought with this map, I've been watching this map sort of progress and knew it was coming out for quite some time now and I thought with the mining side of things, with the forestry, with a lot of extra stuff that we can do compared to normal, um, it would be a lot cooler than just doing the general you know, farming simulator side of things. Alright, no one crossing, no. Let's head back out of town. My best speed back up to 80. Try and get down to the uh, shop a little bit quicker. Gonna have to open up our tray as well when we get down there. It is um, quite a beautiful map, but if you guys haven't seen Farmer Klein on YouTube yet, most of you guys watching this probably already know Farmer Klein. If you haven't, check him out. He has done a farm tour of this map, so he tours the whole entire map, shows you guys everything. Definitely worth a watch. Um, as I said, he's a great YouTuber certainly deserves a lot more attention than he does actually get. Alright, so coming up another crossing. No one's coming across. Good. Head back in. We will, um... So, so yeah. So we probably don't need to... I don't know if we're going to be able to... Can we put it... No, I think we're going to have to put it in sideways. So we'll just have to drop the bucket in. Right, there we go. We'll leave it running. Alright. Try not to damage anything while we're doing it. There we go. Should be able to get it back out nice and easy. Um, I wonder if we can actually come back into here. Where is... There it is. Reset. Is it reset it back to the shop. I wonder if it does. Um, it did. Awesome. It saved us a whole other trip back. Alright, we'll come on in and we'll grab that. Oop, wrong way. Of course, they're not going to make it easy for us. See all the other equipment they've got for sale in here. Class, Jutsvar. Beautiful shop, it really is. Right, there we go. Now we can come back through, grab. Now, trailer load of explosives, which we're going to have to be pretty careful of on our trip back. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll shut our tractor down. The truck's still running. We'll um, head into the shop. Grab our fuel trailer. I wonder where our local fuel station is, actually is. Let's have a bit of a look. Uh, Lime fuel, straight ahead. Right, so what I'll do is I'll take this guy. Let's go down to the gas station first. Get this thing filled up. Then we can t organize our tractor. So there's probably not going to be a lot of mining done today. 
but hopefully episode two. That's where we'll head to. We'll head to the mining side of things. So our fuel station is just ahead, so we're gonna have to turn right here. All right, perfect. Then into the left. There we go. Here he is. Beautiful, old-looking fuel station. All right, pull up alongside the Bowser. There we go. All right, perfect. Now let's head back to our quarry. Actually, what is... Um, I've seen something on the map. This here, I wonder what that is. Not sure. Might just be some sort of old building. So obviously we can go forestry as well, with the forestry side of things. You take the wood up to the forestry area. The wood gets turned into wood chips and uh, pallets, I think or logs maybe, then you move the logs over to the other side and it gets changed from logs into boards on empty pallets. Um, yeah, it's actually, it's a lot of stuff to do. We'd definitely like to get into the dairy side of things, as you guys know. Um, I'm not 100% sure on how the dairy side of things works. Does it go on the weight of the beast that you take there to sell does it go on something else not a hundred percent sure so we'll have to have to maybe look into it or just you know play it by ear when we get to that stage where we're gonna actually have some have some cows back at the farm I think we definitely need we need to take empty pallets and um, empty cartons so if we hit I think if we hit P I'm gonna show you guys here pallets so you got empty pallets and empty cartons. Certainly what we need to take. Start making some meat products. Alright, let's get through here. You should give way to us. We have explosives on, mate. Watch what you're bloody doing. Oh, wow. So I'm hoping to have every episode 30, 35 minutes long. Um, I don't want to have it too long, but I know this one's sort of going... Why? Pretty quick already. I haven't even started mining or anything yet, but we're at that point where we've got it sorted and it shouldn't take too much longer to at least get it started. So we need to get our tractor up here, obviously, which we have now with our explosives, get these guys unloaded. We need to bring our, our truck back, or our pickup truck back up here. That way we can bring the fuel, we can bring the water all that sort of stuff so all right here we go let's go up the hill over here towards the explosives area still a little bit of lag it's probably just from the rain and stuff I suppose all right so let's I don't know oh, hopefully we have to unload these guys hopefully they don't just disappear yep okay cool much as it would be a lot easier if they just disappeared I'd much rather have to unload them. Alright, there we go. Let's disconnect those. Fuel costs, so that's finally full. That's why I took it there first, because it does take a little while. Um, Alright. I'm going to have to get these guys taken care of now. So I have to go with our external view again. Alright, so set up with our dynamite. We need to unstrap both of these all right place our dynamite down and in all right I think that um, okay no we own this land enter vehicle no on blasting office visit 
see it does say it's red which means it's not working so let me pick this back up again um, do we need to put it into here I would not have thought so nope I would have thought we would have had to have thrown it inside this area here. There's no information boxes or anything, so... I would have thought that was it. Alright, well, let's get this next one off and we'll see what happens, I suppose. Whoop, 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 oh! Kaboom. Luckily they're packed really, really well. Could have been a fatal mistake, but it could have been a quick end to our new series. Alright, there we go. What we can do is, now it's on the ground, we can just push it in. But that doesn't seem to be working either. Um, Even up here, it's not. It's like it's not accepting it for some reason. Um, let's have a look around. Is there anywhere else that we need to? Or well, come into here? No, maybe into here. So I definitely have the global stuff installed, but it doesn't seem to be there. I might have to look at that off camera because I definitely. Ooh, definitely did install it but it may not have installed properly so I'll have to just look at that again uh, alright take that back to there alright let's come over here and oh wrong button watch out for these tines try not to get a tine to the face those done. I'd say the global company mod may not have installed properly so I'll have to go back and look at that see what happens. I'd say that was definitely that's definitely what the problem may be. Did come up with an error when I started the game so I'd say that's probably it unfortunately. Alright get these ones off whoa me moving the mouse the wrong way all right get rid of that out of the way and the map all right oh, let's try and Just sort of hope that doesn't fall off. Try and pick this last one up a little bit better than that because I want to try and get a screenshot. Screenshot for our thumbnail, of course. Alright, line it up nice and straight. Um, or not. Boom, there we go. Maybe if we back our tractor here somewhere, let's come around and have a look. Oh, Alright, let's go. Something like that, that'll do. Alright, throw this guy down. We're at nearly 35 minutes already, guys, so what I will do is I will end the episode here. I will try and work out why this isn't working. I say it's probably the global company mod not quite installed properly um, get that sorted out bring up our fuel bring up our water um, and then go from there I guess and hopefully we can start to make some you know some stone 
that sort of stuff. Um, next episode, get some soil, throw some soil into here, throw some stone into there, and start working on some bricks and stuff. I think that'd be pretty cool. So if you guys enjoyed this one, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think of this series so far, if you want to see it continue, all that normal stuff. Uh, if you've got any ideas, leave it in the comment section as well. But thank you guys for watching. It's been Brito. See you guys again soon.